Alpha. The Cinema Line Camera FR7 is an E-mount interchangeable lens camera with a full-frame image sensor and built-in pan-tilt-zoom functionality. This is a starting guide for those who use the FR7 for the first time and consists of three different videos explaining the initial setup, basic operation and advanced operation. You can control the FR7 remotely and wirelessly from your tablet. Let's see how to connect your tablet to the FR7. Before getting started, prepare a Wi-Fi access point, a tablet and an Ethernet cable. Connect the FR7 to the access point, then the access point and tablet respectively. Now let's set up the network. First, connect the FR7 to an access point using the Ethernet cable. When the FR7 is successfully connected to the access point, the network lamp turns green. Next, connect your tablet to the same network. Go to the settings and tap the Wi-Fi, then turn on the Wi-Fi and tap the access points network with the password. Now the FR7 and tablet are under the same network. Let's access the FR7 from the tablet. To do this, open the media cover and scan the QR code from a QR code reader application on your tablet. Once it's been scanned successfully, the access link will be displayed. Now tap the link to launch the web app from a supported web browser such as Safari or Chrome. When you first connect the FR7 with the web app, you will be requested to input username and password. Fill in the initial username admin and keep the password blank, then log in. Change your username and password after the initial login. Now you will see the web app on the screen. You can monitor the live image, control the pan, tilt, zoom operations, play back the recorded footages and change all the camera settings from this web app. Starting here, we will explain how to use the web app. In the Live tab, you can see the live image feed. And by tapping the display button, the information on the live screen is turned off and on. Below the Live tab is the Camera Basic Configuration pane. You can directly change the camera settings like frame rate, gain, shutter, iris, and more. The FR7 internally has the electronic variable ND filter. To adjust the exposure level, tap the ND filter button, which changes the value clear to manual. Then manually adjust the density using the slider. On the bottom, there are 10 assignable buttons, which you can change the assigned function depending on what functions you frequently use. The first three buttons are the equivalent to the same number of buttons on the supplied infrared remote control. And at the top right, this is the Record Start Stop button. Tap it to start recording. While recording, the record sign appears on the live screen and the tally lamp on the camera also lights up red. Next, this is the camera control block. You will find five blocks, main, focus, audio, stream, and other settings. In the main tab, you can control the base ISO, ND filter, iris setting, and so on. As an example, here you can select the base ISO, low or high. The FR7 can recognize human faces and eyes whilst continuously focusing on them. When faces and eyes are detected, detection frames are displayed on them. You can also tap the subject you want to track, then the FR7 will automatically keep focusing on the subject. In the Focus tab, you can adjust the AF transition speed and AF subject shift sensitivity. When you want a slow and smooth focus transition, change the AF transition speed to a smaller number. Pan, tilt and zoom control is located at the bottom right hand panel. The vertical up and down control is for the zoom and the circle shape control is for the pan tilt. You can pan and tilt the operation by dragging the white control point on the control to a desired direction. The pan and tilt speed can be adjusted by the amount of dragging. Zoom can be operated in the same way. When a smooth and cinematic pan tilt control is needed, you can slow down the pan tilt speed by sliding the control point to the left. 
then a slow and smooth pan tilt operation is available when using a tablet. The preset position function is useful when you want to repeat the same PTZ operations. You can register the current PTZ position by tapping the upper left plus button. The register position is displayed as a thumbnail and double tapping the thumbnail moves the FR7 to the registered PTZ position so you can repeat the same camera work with this function. In addition, you can change the pan tilt speed for each preset. Tap the three dots on each thumbnail to change the pan tilt speed. Each time you recall a position, the pan tilt moves with the speed you set. Now, how do we play back the clips on the web app? Well, recorded clips can be checked in the playback tab found on the top. When you tap the thumbnail button, Recorded clips in the memory card are displayed on the thumbnail screen. Select a clip you want to play back by arrow buttons and tap the set button to play back the selected footage. Additionally, other detail settings are available from the setting tab. Setting items are categorized by shooting, project, paint and look, pan and tilt, network and streaming. For example, let's check the project settings. You see base setting, Recall Format and others. If you select Recall Format, you can configure the frame rate, Imager Scan Mode, Codec and others. It's advisable to make the necessary setting changes here before filming. There is another camera setting menu on the Live tab. Open the Cam GUI button at the bottom right controls and tap the Menu button. Then you can see the camera setting menu on the Live screen. Tap the arrow buttons to select the items. In this way, you can easily control the FR7 wirelessly from your tablet. Furthermore, it is also possible to control multiple units of the FR7 from one tablet by accessing additional ones in the same procedure. Scan the QR code of the second FR7 to open a new tab in your browser and control the second FR7 from a new tab. In addition, you can also control the FR7 from the computer instead of a tablet. To connect from your computer, simply input the address written on the QR code sticker from the supported browser. So you can choose a tablet or computer depending on your shooting conditions. Another option is the supplied infrared remote control. Basic PTZ operations, focus control, camera menu settings are also available. Now you can operate the FR7 with your tablet and computer as well as the supplied infrared remote control. Next, let's take a look at the advanced operation with a dedicated remote controller. Alpha. The CinemaLine camera FR7 is an E-mount interchangeable lens camera with a full-frame image sensor and built-in pan-tilt-zoom functionality. This is a starting guide for those who use the FR7 for the first time and consists of 